let's talk about B-cell maturation antigen. BCMA is a cell surface protein that is expressed on multiple myeloma cells. BCMA is essential for the proliferation and survival of multiple myeloma cells. BCMA is a target under investigation because BCMA is present in 100% of multiple myeloma patients. Just goes to show, some facts are more meaningful. So cartitude 1 is a phase 1b to portion of JNJ4528 in relapsed refractory multiple myeloma patients. JNJ4528 is a structurally distinct second generation chimeric antigen T cell receptor with two BCMA binding domains. This study consists of two portions, a phase 1b and a phase 2. The phase 1b portion of the study was to characterize safety and evaluate the dose recommended by the LEGEND2 study. The phase two portion of the study was to characterize efficacy. The phase one B portion of the study is the data that we reported and we enrolled 29 patients on that study. These patients had a median age of 60 and half of them were female. All these patients are heavily pretreated as their median prior lines of therapy was five. 100% of these patients were triple exposed and 86% of these patients were triple refractory. 72% of these patients were penta-exposed, and 31% of these patients were penta-refractory. Here we report the safety data of this study. The most common adverse event, grade 3 or higher, was hematological, with non-hematological AEs of grade 3 or 4 is very uncommon. Two patients had increased AST, one patient had increased ALT, and one patient had diarrhea. All but two patients had what's called cytokine release syndrome with 86% of the patients having mostly grade one and two. One patient had grade three CRS and one patient had a prolonged dose limiting toxicity with grade four CRS which converted to a grade five event at day 99. Neurotoxicity was very uncommon in the study. Only 10% of the patients had any grade of neurotoxicity with one patient having a grade three neurotoxic event which was concurrent with her grade, C, grade 3 CRS event, which was resolved very quickly with the administration of tocilizumab and steroids. As I mentioned, these patients are all heavily pretreated, but what we noticed on this study is that we had a 100% overall response rate. Every single patient responded, every single patient had a reduction in their paraprotein. In, in the 29 patients, 27 patients are still progression-free survival at six-month median cutoff. In terms of MRD status, we were able to evaluate 17 patients, and all 17 patients were MRD negative at the time of the latest assessment. Currently, CAR-T therapies are being used in later lines of therapy after patients have failed at least three prior therapies, including an IMID, PI, and an anti-CD38. But there's new studies, particularly CAR-2 and CAR-2-3, are gonna come where we're gonna test this in earlier lines of therapy and see if this will help prolong the duration of their response.